After the thrilling tie that we've just seen to open the CD Dot Perth Premier League season between the Vikings and the Flyers Blue, it's now time for leg two of the Friday night doubleheader to kick things off in season 2021. It is the two semi finalists that are doing battle in the second game here at the Perth Ice Arena tonight as part of the CD Dot Perth Premier League for 2021. The Sharks, who finished fourth, and they, like the Flyers Orange, have an entirely new side. Well, not entirely new side, about 75 to 80 percent is made up of new players and also returning players. So no doubt both of the side's depth will be tested tonight. Paul Persick with you in the commentary box. And again, it's a great pleasure to have your company wherever you may be across Western Australia, Australia and around the world. We're streaming live on the Front Row Screens Facebook page and on the Perth Premier League Facebook page. Go on to facebook.com forward slash Perth Premier League. Like the page, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up. We did have 200 likes already and we'll keep you right up to date with all the information that's going on in the Perth Premier League thanks to CD God for season 2021. Sharks and the Flyers Orange have got star-studded lineups. The Sharks under Mark Valancourt and Gillan McLean. They've got Sean McLean, who has been a star in the summer competition. They've got Jaden Santana up in defence. They've got Riley Langle up forward, as well as Braden Maybe and also Oscar Zhu. And Bryce Chapman, who's a key defender in the Summer League competition, as well as the Premier League. He will certainly be a big weapon for the Sharks. As for the Flyers Orange under Michaela Fellows, Mark McCann will be taking to the net as their net tender tonight. Yves Potvin, Dave Ruck, who is the captain of that side. Blake George, if another star, watch out for Kieran Webster too. He is going to really be a big key when they are taking the puck to that offensive zone. Owen Williams and Lee Tortoise filling out the number 87 and number 88 spots. Both teams including their warm-up. If you missed it earlier on, the Flyers blew the reigning champions doing battle with the Vikings and it was a cracker. A three-all draw. Yes, you heard right. A three-all draw to open the season. You couldn't think of a better way to open the 2021 CD Dodd Perth Premier League. Will we see another cracker tonight? Well, we certainly hope so. The great atmosphere here at the Perth Ice Arena by the stands and as well by the crossbow, uh, the, folk, the good folk that are having a nice uh, bev and a bite during this game. We're also watching on our front row screens broadcast. Well, it's going to be a fantastic second game. It's all starting another big weekend in sport and another big winter for front row screens in season 2021. Not just with the Premier League, we have got so much more coming up. Make sure you stay tuned in season 2021. Both teams just getting into their huddles now. Of course, last season, the Flyers Orange, they were defeated by the Blackhawks in last year's semi-final series over in Coburn. And the Sharks, well, they were soundly beaten by the Flyers Blue here at the Perth Ice Arena last year in October in the semi-final in what was a condensed 2020 season. Both teams now clash in the opening match of season 2021 for both these teams. Remember, the Blackhawks are having the bye this, uh, this round. Before next week, we head to Coburn for a couple of rounds of action that include the Blackhawks and all the five teams in the competition. So make sure you're tuning in every Friday night throughout the competition, as well as our Perth Premier League Facebook page. We're about to get the puck drop underway, the first of the puck drops. Dave Ruck, the captain of the Flyers' orange side. Paul McCann welcoming both teams for the first time this season. Linden Lodge, and also Jaden Jaden Santana. A dropping one by the Orange. Thank you everyone, let's get started. So both sides getting themselves set for this contest. Flyers Orange who finished in uh, third, uh, second place last season. The Sharks, who finished in fourth, as we see a sh their Sharks huddle, led by Mark Valancourt and Gillan McLean. They'll be looking for a big start this season. 
But if they can get the points over the Flyers Orange, Flyers Orange looking for that same motivation to get their season started after what had been a season that started with promise and ended the regular season on a high note turned out to be a disappointing finish when they were beaten by the Blackhawks in Coburn in that semi-final, despite finishing second compared to the Blackhawks who finished third. That was a bit of a point in conjecture late in the season, but with the new fixtures, luckily, the same thing will not happen again. The Flyers Orange are starting things off clean slate, and of course, a couple of new players in their side, especially the likes of Kieran Webster and Ben Kelly. Both sides going into position now. The Orange going to the left-hand side of your screen. The Sharks going to the right-hand side of your screen to the scoreboard end, the CD Dodd scoreboard end. First puck is going to drop. It is going to be Webster for the Orange. That'll do battle in this opening face-off alongside Jake Ruck. The second game of opening night of the CD Dodd Perth Premier League. We thank you for joining us on our Front Row Screens Facebook page and on our Perth Premier League Facebook page. We're underway. The Sharks have first use of it. It's played along the end boards now. That's towards Mercerella. Retained there by Valancourt. Commanding it from behind the goal line. A bit of a controlled tempo the Sharks have got for this season. They don't like to play it that fast. The Flyers Orange in contrast. They like a fast-paced tempo transition from defence into attack. Here's Kelly. Kelly, nice pass to Ruck. Goes cross-ice to the path of Tanner. That one just out of his reach. And that will be an icy call. Puck will go all the way back to the Sharks attacking zone. Remember, it's 20 minutes continuous for the first two periods. And then the final period, 15 minutes and stoppage time for those that are not familiar with the format of the CD Dodd Perth Premier League. The Premier winter competition, Premier domestic winter competition of ice hockey throughout the country. Puck being won by the Sharks. Chapman this time. Turns it over along the wings now. It's played towards that offensive zone. Well covered on the high slot by Tanner. Goes out to Ruck, the captain. Hoist pass, and it was an open ice pass that was clearly clutched in by Reese Pelliccioni, tending the net tonight. Again, a magnificent turnout by the stands, as we see on the CD Dodd replay, that last passage. Ruck had a good presence of mind to go for the hoist shot. Maybe he was a little bit too far out on corner point. It was easily saved in the end, Pelliccioni. Chapman plays it to the end boards now, one on one. One out by Atkins. Well played by McLean to keep it in front, but just winning that battle in the end is Lyndon Lodge. On the sideboards. On the offensive zone for the Flyers Orange, they lose it almost immediately. McLean keeps it in front, Potvin and McLean in a one-on-one. Potvin pushes it forward, one-on-one. The Sharks, they win it again, back and forth however it goes. Lodge, fine play across the, court, across the rink. Kelly. Goes to the ambitious hoist shot from left corner point. Georgiev in front. Getting his opponent to the end boards there. Lodge shoots from deep. Almost bobbled out of there. And it is! It bobbled out over the line. And it will count as a Lyndon Lodge goal. That's the first one on the board. Well, very unlucky there for Pelliccioni to have that one bobble out. We'll show you on the CD Dodd replay. Play to the end. Play to the side boards. Lyndon Lodge. Fine slap shot. There was space inside the slot to go cross ice, but he elected to go for the shot himself. But unfortunately for Pelliccioni, it bobbled out off his gloves and went over the line. Three minutes in, first goal belonging to the Flyers Orange through Linden Lodge. And it is 1-0 on the CD Dodd scoreboard early on in this match. Zoo looking for the quick response. McCann. Good presence of mind to stone that one in down low. Straight off the face-off, the Sharks looking for that big response. Heavy traffic by the Flyers Orange inside the slot. Cut that one off. As well as that fine save down low by McCann. Hoist pass on the centre ice, but there was some interference. And that is against Jackson. And there'll be a face-off on the neutral line. It's by the right-hand side of your screen. And I think it's going to be some time in the penalty box. No, it won't. 
It's going to shift to the left-hand side of centre ice for this face-off. Face-off being one out, Chapman from the defensive zone. The puck being bobbled out of the pack there. Here's Kelly. Kelly plays it to the wings. Fine turnover by Jackson, but plays it loose. Behind the goal line, Jackson, no icing call. Smart pass along the boards. Cut off there, maybe. Break away from centre ice, maybe. He's onto something here. Maybe shoots. Bit of a loose one. Off the plexiglass from the corner. McCann again off the pads. Williams pinned to the boards there by Lelic. Lelic finds an opening. Ricochet there off an opponent's stick, nearly breaking that one in half. Lelic one on one there with, with uh, Campbell. Trying very hard, keeps it down low. Well played by Campbell. Brilliantly done, gets it out to Ruck. Will he go cross ice? Yeah, no, he doesn't. Goes for the shot himself. Well, he had two options there, did uh, the captain there in Ruck. Looked to have gone cross ice to try and look for some space on the left hand side of the low slot, or did he go for the shot? He went for the shot. But as we see on the CD dot replay, there was an opportunity to go to Campbell, who was right there in front. But that just wasn't to be for the Orange. They still lead it 1-0, though. 15 minutes to go on the CD dot scoreboard. Langle, he was out the back with plenty of space. Was he tripped up? Well, referee did not call interference there. Very interesting indeed. Referees get on with it. Langle and Ruck. Ruck on the sideboards. Keeps it in front. Tripped up. Accidental. Valancourt goes cross ice only as far as Kelly. And now Valancourt. Hoist pass. Oh, hip and shoulder there. That's a high charge there. That is against Ruck. Will the advantage conclude? The referee's put his hand down there. That was a pretty head high hit. But that's what you expect when the season starts and you're really wanting to make a statement early. From behind the defensive goal line, Langle pinned to the end boards there by Potford. Tortoise, fine pass, cross ice to Webster. Good breakaway. Webster keeps it out in front. That's fine play by Webster. Webster shoots, doesn't get it in. Almost tipped in by Tanner. Very lucky for the Sharks not to concede a second. Webster this time pumps it towards the offensive zone. Ruck. And now Tanner. Cross ice now, intercepted by Atkins. Atkins keeps it in front. A little too much oomph on that one. Kelly, slap shot in the end. A hard slap shot there. But the referee has called that one early right before McCann was able to make the save down low inside the crease. It looked like there was some slashing going on. We're going to have a look at that big hit on the CD Dodd replay. That hit was against Ruck. As we see here, out towards centre ice, Georgia Flan. And down went George off like a bag of spuds. Hard hit there, but the game goes on. Campbell, wrist shot, deep in the slot. There's a scramble for it, but winning it out there was Chapman. Keeps it going, this Chapman. Good play. McLean recovers only momentarily. Webster out the back. He's on the breakaway. He's got Williams on his own. And good defensive pressure by the Sharks. Forces Webster to go behind the goal line. Almost turned over by Jackson. Webster keeps it in front. Williams almost. Will Lodge go cross ice. He's pinned to the boards by Williams. Williams in a one-on-one. -on -one. Well played by the Sharks to get that one out. Two-on-one. Off the backhand. Tanner. Deep scramble for it. Jackson turning it over. Under a bit of pressure from Williams now. It's a two-on-one. And over the plexiglass. And we'll have ourselves a face-off. City dot replay of that last passage there. Good pressure by Williams to pin Jackson to the end boards there. And forcing some crucial turnovers early on. Played eight minutes in the opening period. CD dot scoreboard 1 0 for the Flyers Orange. But the Sharks desperate to level. Zoo. Stick check by Potvin. That's good play from Potvin to recover that one from the defensive zone, but the Sharks have heavy coverage inside the offensive zone. Georgia plays it across. Goes looking for Tortoise. But the Sharks again, fine turnovers they've inflicted on that defensive zone since that last goal. Zoo shoots, ricochet off pop. Zoo looking for a second chance. Lodge, nice stick checking. He keeps it in front, releasing Tortoise. 
cross ice along the wings they go. No interference called there. It's not official contact there. And it's an icing. Just joined us for the first time. Lyndon Lodge scoring the first goal. Off left corner point. Went for the slap shot. Pelicioni looked to have clutched it in. But unfortunately, it bubbled out of his hands and over the line. And that has been the only goal so far of this opening period here at the Perth Ice Arena. Zoo turned over. Webster looking to go cross ice to Ruck. He had the chance. But wasn't able to execute. At the back, Kelly, Campbell. Slap shot by Campbell off to the right-hand crossbar. He's got two there at high point. Almost turned over. There was a bit of moment's hesitation there, and it might cost them in this passage. Valancourt pinned to the end boards. Well played by Zhu in this occasion. Puck dropping back now. Santana. Nice defensive takeaway. Valancourt again. Ruck. Ruck keeps it open. Oh, and a little bit of miscommunication there. Mercerella stopped in his tracks. Ruck keeps the puck in front. Shoots. Nice save by Pelletione. Recovered defensively. Webster fine play. Ooh, almost tripped up there by number 24 in, in uh, Doyle. And he eventually recovers the puck. Great pass, well controlled by Langle. He's got speed. Langle, wrist shot, almost tipped in there by Ruck. Turned over, Langle in front. Keeps the puck in front of him. This is a fine effort from Lodge. Can he go for a second? No, he didn't go for the shot at all. Lodge shoots and just to the left-hand side. Georgia again controls the puck from behind the goal line. Lodge from the corner. Look for the cross-ice tip in there for Webster. But not to be. On center ice, the puck going back and forth. Lodge plays it wide. Lodge again. Under pressure now. What can he do? Lodge tripped up. No call. McLean. Nice stick checking by the Flyers Orange defenders. Less than nine minutes to go. Webster this time. Kelly. Cross ice. Campbell. Fine effort by Campbell, looking to release his teammate there in Tortoise. Tortoise shoots way off to the right-hand crossbar. Georgia one-on-one -on -one there. With a couple of sharks, in fact, it becomes two-on-one. Now three-on-one. Losing possession there is Atkins. Atkins pinned to the sideboards. That allows McLean to go on a clear path towards the offensive zone. McLean shoots. Nice save, McCann. Brilliant save by McCann. McLean had prime space in that one. He kept the puck well in front and had the right presence of mind to go for the wrist shot from inside the slot. McCann kept his eye on it and made the good glove save to his left-hand side. On the CD dot replay there. Face-off being won by the Flyers Orange. Kelly. Back and forth the puck goes. Kelly gets it back on the defensive side. Beautiful, long, penetrating cross-ice pass. Ruck feeds it back to Webster. Ruck shoots just to the left-hand side. Lelic. Good play. Zoo. Looking for some open space. Was he tripped up? Yes. And that's against Kelly. Almost was inadvertently there, but the ref saying, nope, it was intentional, I'm afraid. And that'll mean the first of the power plays for this matchup, as you see there. Interference with the stick against Kelly on Zoo. And that'll be the first of the shutter guard power plays for this matchup. And this will heavily favour the Sharks as they've got the puck where they want it on the offensive zone. Seven minutes to go in this opening period. 1-0 the Flyers Orange lead, but the Sharks do have an opportunity. It's going to be Ruck and Webster. Ruck wins that one out. Valancourt, whoa! Fell, a bit, fell asleep a little bit there. Force back. Fine play. That's allowed Langle for the opportunity. Langle deep inside the slot. Heavy traffic by the Orange. Two deep inside. Zoo gets it back. Langle. On court. That's a ruck. Goes inside. That was a blind pass. Cut off in the end. Webster. 
Inside offensive ice. What can he do? He loses it before he had it. Langle bubbled out. Webster back to the defensive zone. Six minutes to go. Flyers Orange slowing down the tempo in an effort to kill off this penalty. What an interesting tussle they have here at the moment. Campbell and Langle both miss it. But look at the read of the passage by the Sharks here. Ballancourt to Ruck. Outside the slot. He's going to look for the wrist shot here. Does just to the right-hand side. Offensive rebound. Sue again. Langle combining with Ballancourt. Ruck gets it back. Langle from the outside. Sue went for the cross-ice pass. Intended there for Mercerella. But to no avail, the penalty almost killed off. The Flyers' Orange have defended brilliantly throughout this penalty. The Sharks, too, slowing down the tempo at this stage. Almost turned over. Georgia was right in front for the tip-in. Valancourt. Set cross-ice to Langle. That pass delivered a little too late there. Less than five minutes to go. And the penalty will almost be killed off here for Bob Kelly. And he'll be allowed back on as the Orange will go back to full strength. And just in the nick of time, too, there is Kelly. Keeps it in front from Langle. Cross-ice pass, blind pass, blocked off. And just like that, the Sharks have it back at their possession. Langle keeps it from the corner. Langle creates some flair inside that offensive zone. Keeps it out. Santana shoots. Well saved, McCann. Bobbles it out in front. Williams turns it over again. Look at how hard the Sharks are pressuring the Flyers Orange. Langle shoots and again to the left-hand side. McCann off the gloves. Horses a clutch in stoppage. We'll have a face-off. <laughs> McLean and Webster. McLean pushes the puck out back. Langle shoots. Just to the left-hand crossbar. Chapman. Puck bouncing off the net. Williams plays the puck behind the goal line. With the lulling proceedings at the moment, both sides eager. Gets some open space towards the low slot. McLean from behind the goal line up against Potvin. Beautiful cross-ice pass. Finding Lelic from the corner. Williams on his back. Would have been a freakish goal, but it was well saved in the end. McCann, as players from both teams, engage in a bit of banter there. As we see on the CD dot replay, McLean, McLean controlled the tempo well. It was set up with another good pass from Lelick out to Williams. Williams just losing control there as he shot the puck towards the net. McLean wins the face off. Williams loses it immediately. Tanner goes cross ice to Kelly. And now Ruck turned over. And just like that, they get it back. Tanner's got the speed. Tanner from the corner, off the crossbar. Kelly almost tipped in. Lelick goes cross ice, turned over. Lodge on center ice, forces it back. Potter. Standing his ground is Lodge. Forced to go around by McLean, and that was good defense by the Sharks. Again, another turnover. Alan Cord shoots, almost bobbled out of there. Tipped in, was it McLean? No. Just in front of the line there. And that'll mean another face-off. Where did that puck go? I think it went one inside one of McCann's pads there, as we see on the CD dot replay. Santana had the presence of mind to go for it. And when the puck bobbled out in front of the crease, McLean was in front. But it just got stuck, as it turned out, inside Mark McCann's pads. Less than two minutes to go. CD dot scoreboard. Opening period of this matchup. Still 1-0. The Flyers Orange have the lead through Lyndon Rogers' goal. The puck in front of the slot. But it was Tortoise with the open ice pass. Only as far as Chapman. Campbell on defensive ice. Works the puck along the line. Well played by Tortoise, keeping it in front. Does he go cross ice to Williams or Georgia? If he has another option. Kelly. Slap shot. Out there towards the net, but off the right-hand crossbar. Flyers Orange playing a bit hesitantly here. That's one of the big problems. He cannot 
wait around for the puck to come to you. You have to attack it. And it'll be pushed forward. Chapman again. What can Chapman do? He plays it along the wings now. Turned over. Georgia almost. Was he tripped up? Ref say no. It's one on one. Along the end boards now, but he was. Referees call that one late, but the decision was made after the advantage. Less than 45 seconds on the clock. This will be a vital passage for both sides, and that is against Chapman. So another varsity bar, another shutter guard power play, I should say, will be in effect. For Chapman's penalty and he'll sit out the first couple of minutes of the second period as a result as we have 20 seconds remaining in this opener. Flyers Orange have a chance now Tanner from behind the goal line. Webster struggles to keep it in front. Tanner bobbles it out with a hoist shot. Campbell has some space. Slap shot shoots. Just off to the left hand crossbar. Recovered. Kelly. Langle. Time runs out. And that's the end of the first period. And the Sharks, they did well to keep the Flyers Orange to one goal. But that goal from Lyndon Lodge keeps the Flyers Orange in control of the game. It was back and forth for the final 10 minutes of that game. With no real advantage apart from the Orange on the scoreboard. What will the second period bring? It is 1-0 to the Flyers Orange after one. We'll be back at the Perth Ice Arena shortly. Shatterguard has been installing Perth's best shutters for over 30 years. With no advertising signs on your front lawn and no sales gimmicks, visit shutterguard.com.au. You're invited to Perth Ice Arena, Perth's premier ice skating rink. If you're into ice hockey, figure skating, a novice, or just enjoy the fun of ice skating, this is the place for you. Call or visit the website for session times. It's a great place to keep cool. Back to the Perth Ice Arena. Here are some highlights thanks to CD Dodd. That opening period, a bit of a tight tussle in the final 10 minutes of that opening period. As we see the Flyers Orange leading 1 0 over the Sharks in this second game of the opening night of season 2021. CD Dodd, Perth Premier League, back in action after five inactive months. Lyndon Lodge scoring the only goal of that first period. It was very eventful for the first. 10 minutes, but then in the last, it was a real struggle. The tempo slowed down a little bit. The intensity also slowed down a bit as well. But both sides had plenty of chances to get the puck back into the net a second time. Chapman will still be in the penalty box, mind you, after that infraction that he had against him in that first period. Another 20-minute period coming up. The Webster and Ruck. As the second period gets underway, Webster wins that one, pushes it back. They play the puck wide to Campbell. Again, transferring the play. Webster. Webster finds set up to Lodge. Cross ice. Kelly. Kelly to Ruck, the captain. Playing it slowly, looking for the tip in. Lodge, stick checking there with Zoo. An open ice pass. Will it be an icing call? No, it won't. McCann. The net tender pulling out of the crease just at the right time. That's a good setup. Shot by Lodge. That one just wide. Five on four for the start of this second period. Keep in mind, the 
Flies Orange having the advantage of the extra man on ice. Turned over, Valancourt. Again, it's another open ice hit, an another open ice pass towards the offensive zone. From the low slot, the Orange recover. Looking for a power play goal here. Here's Lodge. Lodge from the corner, shoots. That one just in front of the crease. One-on-one, -on -one, Tanner and Valancourt. Tanner keeps it out in front, forced to push the puck back. And now Webster. Webster cross ice to centre ice. Kelly shoots. And again wide of the net tender there in Pelliccioni. Inside that first minute of this game. Lodge, cross ice. Nice hip and shoulder by Kelly there on number 24 in Lelic. And again, Lelic returning the favour on Kelly. On the defensive zone, Langle plays it round. That's good play by Langle. He's got speed. But where's the traffic for the offence? I don't think he may need it. Langle shoots, but he slips over as he got the puck towards the net. Big chance blown there, I'm afraid. Jeffries again. Plays the puck to open ice. And it is Potvin who comes up to meet it. Potvin, what can he do? Plays it along the wings, turned over. McLean keeps it in front. McLean shoots from the corner. And to the left-hand crossbar, instantly recovered by the Orange. McLean, however, rebounds it back. Back and forth. McLean from the corner. Looking to go towards the high slot in the end there. That was towards Williams. The Orange rebound. Blind pass blocked off there. Williams again. Had a few good contributions in that defensive zone as Williams. And so was that man, McLean. Nice turnover. Takes it away towards the offensive ice. Out towards the corner. Williams, does he bobble in? No. Oh, and a little hip and shoulder on Kelly. Nice body check. And another one to boot. Ha ha. The heat starting to build up here. And that is a penalty for a charge. That is against McLean, I'd reckon, yes. Both sides will make a few line changes here. As we see on the replay, that last passage, Williams looked to go for the tip in out the back, but unfortunately he didn't get it. Face off on the neutral line. Being pushed back, opening it up to Chapman. And now Lilic. End of the power play. It's all finished. In the meantime, the pass eluding Zoo, and that is an icing. You go all the way back to the orange attacking zone. They have their chance now of doubling their advantage. But the question is, how will the Sharks cover the slot in terms of that defensive coverage? They have to have at least three covered that slot directly. But they also have to have to go one outward. And they do win the face-off. That's good defence by the Sharks. It's a good formation. Oscar Zhu shoots from the corner. Clutched in by McCann on the crease. Good stuff by Mark McCann. CD dot replay. Again, Zhu setting that one up quite well indeed. And a shot from the corner point to no avail. We go back live now. Face-off being won by the Orange as they transfer the play to the rear end of the defensive zone. In the meantime, Chapman, Chapman shoots. Well saved by McCann. Bobbles out. Big scramble for it. They transfer the puck back to Chapman. Off the crossbar. Maybe. What can he do to transfer play? Turned over. Open ice pass. Only as far as Atkins. Atkins almost turning it over. He does. George was in the right path at the right, right place at the right time. But he slipped at the wrong time. The Orange again transferring the play, Campbell. George in front, but he's going to be in a skate race in the end with Chapman. But that's stopped with an icing call. We played the first five minutes on the CD Dodd scoreboard. Still 1-0 in favour of the Flyers Orange over the Sharks. The second game of opening night of season 2021. Remember, 23-round season that we have got from tonight all the way through to the last Friday in September this five-team competition. Open ice pass from Santana. Behind the goal line, Ruck. Ruck looking to go cross ice out to Langle. Desperate to level the scores are the Sharks. They've got it locked in inside that offensive zone. Zoo pinned to the boards there by Lodge. Lodge rebounds. 
Beautiful pass out wide. Finds Georgia. Georgia goes back to Lodge. Good tight passing here. Almost stopped in his tracks there by Chapman, but that was a good body check to enforce the turnover. They like to get physical to the Sharks, and that may result in a just reward. Ballancourt tipped in, almost by Chapman. Second chance doesn't go in. Langle, cross-ice pass, Ruck, out wide, Ballancourt. Looking to go in the Langle direction. He is open inside the slot. They can go cross-ice to him, but he's covered off immediately. Tanner keeps it in front. Good play by Tanner. Cross ice. Line pass, in fact, turned over by Valancourt. What can Valancourt do here? He's pinned to the sideboards on the offensive wings. That's brilliant play by the Orange. Turning that one over. That benefits Ruck, the skipper. Ruck from the slot. Shoots, and it's bobbled out and tipped in again. Dave Ruck gets the first one on the board this second period. And again, Reese Pelliccioni, you'd have to say, pretty unlucky. As we see on the replay, Puck completely eluding a couple of Sharks players and Ruck the skipper was in the right place at the right time, penetrating the slot, going for the shot from the corner and bobbling past Pelliccioni to double the orange advantage. Two goals to nil on the CD Dodge scoreboard with less than 13 minutes to go in this second period. The orange, they want to be that big side to beat in 2021. Long hoist shot towards the offensive crease. Kelly, nice body check there on Lelic. Or Doyle, I should say. A clean. Opens it up, cross ice, only as far as Potvin. Potvin instantly checked out there. McLean. On offensive ice. Zoo. Centre ice they go. Kelly. Out in front, McLean. Plays it to the sideboards. Off the rebound. Here is Atkins. Again, it turned over. Back and forth it goes now. McLean. And Lodge. Lodge plays it slowly. But turned over. Williams, slap shot. Off the crossbar. But Williams had the presence of mind to get that one back, as did Lodge. Nice stick checking. Lodge. Open ice pass, no icing call. Kelly and Williams, immediate cross ice pass. They had three there, but they were line changing. Cross ice now. McLean, oh, head high impact there on Kelly. Open ice pass into the path there of maybe. Didn't get the shot off in time, but it was a well executed setup. Williams, one on one there with. Number 28 there in Lelic. Webster. Webster keeps it out in front. Well played, Webster. Blind pass it was, in fact. Only two Sharks came up to meet it. One of them is Zoo. Cross ice to Lelic. But he had a little too much height for him. Lelic keeps it in front, only momentarily. Gets it again. Webster recovers it. Lelic almost getting the free shot there. The Sharks have it back. They go cross ice. Zoo turned over. Campbell. They go this time and Jackson. But the Flyers Orange have four in that defensive zone. They have plenty of targets along the wings. One of them there is Williams. What can Williams do this time? Kelly. Zoo bobbled in inside the crease. Looking for the tip in there with Zoo. But to no avail. Webster. Plays it forward. This is Tanner. Stick check there by three Sharks. One of them there was Mercerella. Langle, he's got speed. Rich shot off the crossbar. Three on two for the Flyers Orange here, but they lose out in that one. Langle looking to keep the puck in front of him, but he's pressurised by Campbell. Referees wave their hand up. And yes, there was some hooking there. And that'll mean a face-off. I think there will be some time in the penalty box, I think, for Campbell. Is it or Kelly? Yes, it's Campbell. So another shutter guard power play. We'll show you the sit and uh, we'll show you that replay that we just showed you of that penalty. So it'll be Campbell 
That'll get two minutes in the penalty box, and this is a vital chance for the Sharks now to get that power play goal. We haven't seen one tonight. Valencourt shoots, almost tipped in, off the back, Mercerella. Couldn't get the tip in, executed in time. Open ice pass, only as far as Langle. He's got speed in transition from defensive ice. Keeps it in front. Good play by Langle, but forced to change the direction and go out wide. Santana. Inside the crease. Tipped in, and it's a goal! That's the power play goal they were after. And who was it? It was Jake Ruck. Jake Ruck levels, uh, takes back a score on the board for the Sharks against the run of play that the Orange had established for the first couple of periods in this match. We see on the CD dot replay, late tip in there by Ruck, and he got that one in just as easily. Sharks get a goal back to now make it 2-1 on the CD dot scoreboard. But however, the, pen the penalty has now finished. It was a fine shorthanded penalty goal by Jake Ruck to put the Sharks back in the game. Eight minutes to go on the CD dot scoreboard. Can they do it again? This is Valencourt and Ruck. Ruck, can he go for a double? No, it's saved by McCann. Pushes it out in front. Santana. Valencourt plays it to the sideboards. The puck travelling along the goal line. Open ice pass towards the wings. Georgia. What did Georgia do here? Forced to push it forward. Plenty of pressure and traffic inside that offensive zone. The Sharks benefiting from. Santana, brilliantly played, setting that dummy up to Langle. Langle shoots. And McCann, nice save inside the crease. Big chance for the Sharks to level the scores here. CD Dodd replay coming at you. Santana with a nice little backhander there, giving Langle some space to penetrate the low slot and make the wrist shot. But McCann kept his eye in and made the save. Good match awareness that Langle has got, as well as Santana for the Sharks side. Campbell, nice 180 and a turnover. On the defensive takeaway go the Orange. Webster tries to keep it in front. Well played there by Ruck, capitalising on the opportunity from the corner. Pelliccioni there, keeping his eye on it, under pressure. Just getting away there, Santana almost interfered there. That was against Palm, uh, Perry. Williams, Williams inside the slot, shoots, doesn't get the tip in. McLean, it's a scramble for it, three on two. And the Flyers Orange save their bacon here. Webster on the breakaway, keeps it in front, shoots. And just to the left-hand side. Williams keeps it in front, bounced off by Kelly. And now Doyle. Doyle keeps it out in front, but he's forced to go wide. Tip in McLean, one on one with McCann, and McCann wins that battle. Great save under pressure. Have a face-off on the outer circle. Both sides have scored one goal each in this second period. Both the Rucks, as a matter of fact. Dave Ruck first and Jake Ruck for the response from the Sharks. The Sharks have got it on their attacking zone, but now it's back to center ice. And Lelick. Plays it forward along the wings now. Here's Doyle inside the slot. Tipped in. Did McCann take that one? I don't think he did. I think he did, yes. Critical save under pressure as we see on the CD Dodd replay. Zoo played it to the wings, but he sucked at the orange in to try and directly defend him. And Langle making the shot. Well saved in the end by McCann. Pelliccioni and now Zoo. Langle from the corner. Nice save, McCann with the gloves, pushing it out wide. But again, the Sharks have got it right where they want it. However, it's Kelly who pushes the puck to open ice on the centre zone. Two on two. Where's the support coming from Jackson? On the high slot, well covered off by Lelick. Maybe. Pushing it out wide. Tried to go for the slap shot, didn't get all of that one in. 101. Tortoise wins out on that one. Plays the puck to open ice inside the slot. Forced to push back there is Oscar Zoo. 
Got four and a half minutes to go on the CD Dodge scoreboard. 2 1 the score line. The Sharks are really putting the pressure on here. Oh, heavy. Front on to the boards there was Tortoise. Cross ice, the puck goes. Jackson keeps it in front, but turned over. Nicely played there by Valancourt. Good position of the body to get the nice back check going there. Langle. His shot ricocheted there off Kelly. And now the Orange are back in the attack. Tanner tried to keep it in front. Tripped up there was Jackson, and it was tipped in. It's an own goal. It's an own goal. That is against Ruck. And that gives the Orange... A 3-1 lead. Well, my goodness gracious me, you wouldn't want an own goal scored against you. And rightfully so, Pelliccioni not very happy. And I don't blame him for that. You wouldn't want to concede an own goal here. That was by Ruck. He was trying to keep the puck in front of him. But unluckily, it ended up in conceding a goal. Pelliccioni has pulled out of the crease. Oh, no, he's just getting a new stick. As a result of breaking his old one in frustration, I don't blame him for that. You wouldn't want to concede an own goal. And that was on Ruck. So it's a 3-1 lead to the Flyers Orange. They've scored two in this second period. Orange win the face off. They played out wide to Tanner. He gets it back. It's now on offensive ice. Open ice pass in front. Off the back of the net. Well played by Valancourt to play it along the sideboards. Mercerella. Mercerella on a one-on-one. Back and forth, the puck goes. Chapman and Valancourt turned over. Webster, slap shot and scores! Fine shot by Kieran Webster. Capitalised off the defensive turnover. Found some space inside the slot. And had the presence of mind to go for the big slap shot and send it home. Make that advantage 4-1 as we see on the CD dot replay. Beautiful cross ice pass. Well executed for Webster in space inside the slot. Thank you, Mother, for the Rabbits. Fine slap shot in there to make the advantage 4-1 with less than two minutes to go. Big second period by the Flyers Orange. They have scored three. They're holding the Sharks to just one. They've really shifted the advantage their way after a tight ten minutes. In the next 10, you could say the Flyers Orange have definitely taken back control in ruthless fashion. Webster, Lodge and Dave Ruck, each of the goal scorers for the Orange. Webster keeps the puck in front on the breakaway. This is good play from Webster. Can he go for a double here? No, nope. forced to go in a direction change. Almost turned over. Ruck tipped in inside the crease. Leaves an opening for Lodge. Hard slap shot over the net into the plexiglass. Doyle, passes back, turned over. Oh, and almost bobbled out there, Lyndon Lodge, but he kept it right in front of him. But he's turned it over. He had no choice but to let it go. Williams, cross, uh, cross ice McLean, but to no avail. Inside the last minute of this second period. Tanner, he's got Webster, but a blind pass chopped off in the end by Doyle. McLean forced it open ice pass on the defensive zone. Doyle. Keeps it out in front. Beautiful pass direct to centre ice where McLean was located. McLean beautifully stick checked in the end by Captain Ruck. Dave Ruck certainly leading from the front tonight. Getting it back there is Ruck. That's Jake Ruck for the Sharks. Cross ice to the path of McLean. Open ice pass from the defensive zone. And coming up to meet it there is Harry Jackson. Jackson, long direct pass, turned over. Kelly, Langle, shifts it back towards the attacking zone, but look at where Kelly was, positioned for the blind pass. And that's where he snapped it up. Tanner, and time is up. Well, that was a big second period by the Flyers Orange. They lifted their intensity on the offensive zone. The Sharks, and they kept themselves in the game for about 11 minutes with that barrage of goals. Sees them with a big task at hand. They trail 4-1 here at the Perth Ice Arena. We'll be back with the third period action shortly. Shatterguard has been installing Perth's best shutters for over 30 years. With no advertising signs on your front lawn and no sales gimmicks, visit shutterguard.com.au. 
to Perth Ice Arena, Perth's premier ice skating rink. If you're into ice hockey, figure skating, a novice, or just enjoy the fun of ice skating, this is the place for you. Call or visit the website for session times. It's a great place to keep cool. Welcome back to the Perth Ice Arena. One period remaining in this clash between the Flyers Orange and the Sharks. CD Dodd Perth Premier League action coming your way to kick off season 2021. It is the Flyers Orange leading four goals to one. And it was all down to that final 10 minutes of that second period where the Flyers Orange scored three goals to further strengthen their advantage. The Sharks, you'd have to say, be like a fish out of water at the moment because they are trailing by a big margin and face a mountain to climb if they want to come back into this game and snatch those three points that at the moment are belonging to the Flyers Orange. Especially with so much momentum their way and plenty of depth offensively. Through some good puck control, great passing. They're just in sync at the moment, the Flyers Orange. As we take you back live, those highlights thanks to CD Dodd. Last period about to get underway. We Webster and Jake Ruck to start things off. Flyers Orange, they've got three points in the bag at this stage, you can say, but there is still 15 minutes to go as the final period gets underway. High hoist pass by Campbell, but that's recovered there by Valancourt. Valancourt now pushing forward. Mercerella playing along the wings, but out the back, Webster. Recovering well for the Flyers Orange. Campbell trying very hard. Kelly, direct pass to centre ice. Doesn't get it this time. Webster. What can Webster do? Turns it over, back and forth. The puck is gone in these first minutes. Tanner. Almost losing it there. Campbell, slowly manning the puck on defensive ice. Now pushes it forward to Lodge. Force back. Hard defensive press that the Sharks have got early on. Forcing Webster to go even further back on the defensive zone. Lodge plays it along the wings now. And Williams. Nice backhand of the Langle. Langle inside the slot and Langle scores! Well, if you want to start a comeback, if they want to mount one, Riley Langle has started that one off brilliantly, 2-4. The Flyers' orange lead reduced by that Langle goal, as we see on the CD Dodd replay. Nice backhand to pass, Langle setting up the play, penetrating the high slot, and went for a beautiful wrist shot straight down the net. And that is now a 4-2 lead for the Flyers' orange, Riley Langle. His first goal of the CD Dodd Perth Premier League season 2021. McLean and George off will battle in this next face-off. McLean wins it out. Let's see with Jackson. Well covered in the end. Oh! Kelly went down like a bag of spuds there by Doyle. Beautiful body check. Spencer inside. McCann. McLean able to retain possession of that puck deep in the slot. McCann. It's a Linden there. Inside there. Williams. Scrambling for it, but McCann saves the Flyers' orange bacon there. With a save, a diving save inside the crease. Atkins a bit unlucky here. CD Dodd replay that magnificent hit. 
Kelly pushing the puck forward and then wham, bam, thank you, Sam. Luke Doyle inflicting that front-on body check. Georgia off the face-off, finds Williams. Williams' beautiful passing to Georgia from the corner. Didn't get the shot off in time. Pinned to the boards there by number 24 in Doyle. Two on two. It's a scramble for it behind the goal line. McLean looking for the open ice heat. Uh, open ice pass. Played along the wings. Chopped off there by Lodge, but that looked like there was a slash. Referee's called a slash, and it is going to go back to the neutral line. Referee's just pointing out to the scorers there what's going on. Face off on the neutral line to the Flyers' orange attacking zone. And they formed up quite openly, have the Sharks at this stage. No penalty box required. As, no, as a result of that infraction. So still five on five. Campbell, open ice pass out towards the offensive goal line. Covered off brilliantly there by Jackson. Jackson plays it to the sideboards, but instantly defensive rebound by Campbell. He jars that one out back to the defensive zone for the Sharks. And again, Doyle. Playing it slowly. Good defensive press here by the Flyers Orange, forcing them back again to the sideboards. Turned over again. Webster goes cross ice. Kelly and Campbell. Now Tanner. Pulling out of the crease there was Pelliccioni. Good change in direction there. And the Sharks now on the attack. Jackson and Doyle turned over. Webster playing it to the end boards there on the offensive goal line. Kelly. Fresh air there by Tanner. And that's going to allow the Sharks to recover it defensively. 12 minutes to go on the CD Dodd scoreboard. We have played the first three minutes of this final period. 4-2 the scoreline. The Orange still have the advantage. But the Sharks... Now, not without a chance here. Tanner slowly mans the puck on defensive ice. And it's played along the wings to Campbell, transferring the play. Not a good idea, you'd have to say, if, if Riley Langle's around, and so is Kieran Webster. Nice defensive turnover. Hoist pass out towards the offensive wings. Lodge looking for the cross-ice pass there from Kelly. But ineffective. And now on the rebound go the Sharks. Langle, great speed. Does he go cross ice to Mercerella? He shoots and does! Jake Ruck scores his second of the game. And the Sharks are back in the contest. 3-4 the scoreline. And the Sharks have not given up yet. We see a CD Dodd replay here. Well set up, Riley Langle. He had Ruck there inside the cross ice region. And he went, and Langle went in Ruck's direction. Beautiful cross-ice pass. Ruck with the tip in. And goes to the back of the net. 3-4 the score. The Sharks, they have scored one to get back into this game. 4-3 with 11 minutes to go on the CD Dodd scoreboard. The face-off, however, won by the Orange. Langle with the turnover. Can he go for another? Not this time from the corner. Mercerella close to going over the line. Flies Orange again very lucky. Kelly. Cross ice pass blocked off there. Santana playing it to center ice. Nice body check there on Williams. Popson from defensive ice has been a bit of a quiet contributor tonight. Has Yvay Potvin, the former Chiefs player. Ruck shoots. Bouncing off McCann's pads. Langle keeps in front of him on the slot. He's got space. Will he go for the shot? No, he doesn't. Forced to go back. Well played out in front. Mercerella turned over. Potvin. Oh! Well, he got a bit of his own back there from Mercerella. Referee's called the hand up, and the advantage will conclude. That is definitely against Mercerella. Potvin gave Mercerella one first, and then Mercerella gave him one back. And unsurprisingly, that is gonna that looked to be some time in the penalty box. Yes. Mercerella will be staying there for two minutes. And that is not what the Sharks want right now when they're back in this game. So another Shutterguard power play is in effect. This one could be the most crucial of this match. We've got 10 minutes and 13 to go. And one of the Sharks' key defenders, or key forwards, I should say, is in at the penalty box now. 
Face off being won by the Orange. The Sharks will want to slow it down as much as possible to get that fifth man on ice back in. Webster on centre point. Beautiful pass out to Campbell. Cross ice. Lodge shoots. Tanner in a scramble for it, but it's well recovered in the end by Pelliccioni. Less than 10 minutes to go on the CD Dodd scoreboard now. Another face-off will occur. Webster and McLean. Webster wins out that one. Lodge goes cross ice. Campbell playing it to the sideboards now. Almost turned over. Flies Orange. They too want to slow it down. Cross ice. Well recovered by McLean. Long shot from the defensive zone. But to no avail. The clock is frozen at the moment. It is still on 9 minutes and 57. Good Lord. Heavy bump there. Heavy body check. Losing the stick there was Atkins, but rebounded, however. Still alive for the Sharks, but it's on their defensive zone. Lodge pushes it forward. Campbell. And Doyle pinned to the inboards there by an orange opponent. Clock now back up and running. It froze for about 15, 20 seconds, but what the hell? He's now back up and running. Nine and a half minutes remaining in this match. Lodge out the back looking for the tipping in the low slot, but to no avail. Angle with the rebound. McLean and Webster. Webster wins that one out. Nice play from Webster, keeping it inside the slot. Webster shoots to the right-hand side. Another tight contest we have here. The last one was a real cracker, and this one's certainly proving to be another. Ruck, beautiful pass out there to Williams. Williams... Just couldn't control it completely enough. Williams now forced behind the goal line. Going to the corner. Ruck almost. Almost would have sealed the issue there. Ruck has possession once again. Takes it to Webster. Open ice pass towards the offensive zone for the Sharks. McCann. Oh, he got a bit hesitant there. Well, that would almost have been a turnover to Zoo. McCann knew he had to really fix up that error. And he did. Ruck shoots inside the net. Whoa. Almost. Ruck plays it to the end boards. The Sharks on the verge of killing off this penalty. Ruck. Again with the shot. From the corner point. Didn't get that one to go. Zoo again. Another open ice pass. They're resorting to these open ice passes towards their offensive zone. And force the orange back. Chewing up the time. This will kill off this penalty. The Sharks, they will kill off this penalty and go back to 5-on-5. Five five. That turnover will certainly help. Doyle out to Valancourt. Valancourt tipped by Zou. And Zou levels the scores. Oscar Zou has again been the focal point from defence and now a forward. Oscar Zou has tipped that one in, bobbled out of McCann's hands and levels the scores. As you see on the CD Dodd replay, Doyle and Atkins, fine shot by Valancourt. McCann with the save, but they're right for the pickings. Oscar Zhu levels the scores, and the Sharks are ecstatic. They've still got eight minutes to go. Both sides now level. Could we see two ties on opening night? Oh, what a way to launch the competition if we saw two ties for the CD Dodd Perth Premier League. It's now getting really rampant here now. Langle off the offensive boards. Here they go. Nice little body check there by Lodge. Retains possession of the puck. Well played there. Good recovery in the end by uh, Lelic. Lelic with the backhand. Jackson. Center ice. Open ice pass. It'll be a nice and cool. In fact, no, it won't. It's been waved off. Very interesting. Lodge, defensive rebound. Is hesitant to let that one go. The Sharks' defensive press very, very, very solid at the moment. Here's Ruck, forced to go back. He's going to open up some space on the high point. Here's Santana. Santana retains the possession of the puck. Santana shoots. Almost. Langle has some space. Langle, will he go for the shot? He's covered off in a two-on-one. Santana gets it back. Santana shoots. Whoa. Another missed opportunity there. The Sharks have got it right where they want it. Good play by Santana. Clutches that one in. Langle goes to Ruck. Ruck shoots. Scrambling for it. Deep inside the slot. Ruck once again. Santana deep inside the slot goes Langle and Zoo. 
But again, the fly zone just persistent as they are on the defensive zone. Hoist pass towards the centre. Instantly cut off there for all the scoreline with less than six and three quarter minutes to go. Another cracking contest to open up the 2021 CD Dodd Perth Premier League. Webster, nice block pass and the turnover. Webster on the rebound. Dummies the slap shot. Was he tripped up? No, refs say get on with it. Valancourt doesn't want to take any undue risk. Fine pass and a beautiful recovery. Ruck shoots. Fine clutch there by McCann. Kept his eye on it. Brilliantly done. Good passage of play in transition from defence into attack here. Allen Court setting that one up for Ruck. Goes through one. Went for the shot with space inside the middle slot. But no score. Six minutes to go. What a cracking finish to this opening night. For season 2021. Will it be an icing call? McLean called for it himself. Valancourt on the defensive boards. McLean doesn't control it. It's now back on the Flies Orange defensive zone. They push it forward. Turned over. It's back and forth now. Referees are called offside there, but they wave it off. Webster. He's got a three-on-one against him. Where's the support in that offensive zone? He was flooded by Sharks swarming at him. But, he forced, but he's forced to push it back. Campbell. Trying very hard, but loses it. Ballancourt, McLean, rebound off the sideboards. That's clever play by McLean. Will he go cross ice? McLean, he shoots himself. But that shot went into the hands of McCann. He went for the shot himself, did McLean, but he also had number 21 in Brody Williams for the opportunity for the cross ice tip in. But it's not to be. The clock will continue to run. Five minutes to go. What a cracking game this has been. Here at the Perth Ice Arena, the second game of opening night in 2021 of the CD Dodd Perth Premier League. Maybe pushes it back. Lodge recovers from the defensive goal line. Just off the body of George if there. Need to find it out. Needed to find out where it had gone first before he got it. Almost pinned to the end boards there was Kelly. One on one now with Jackson. Fine defensive takeaway, Jackson. The Sharks trying to slow things down at the moment, but the Flyers Orange have got more players at the back. One of them there is Williams. Williams keeps it in front. And now the Sharks are back under pressure. Williams on the defensive wings. Williams shoots. Clutched in there by Pelliccioni. He pushes it forward, but it's turned over immediately. There's Tanner. He shoots. Doesn't get it in time. Tortoise almost pinned to the end boards there. George, if he is... Played to the boards. Williams on the defensive zone. Lelick. Open ice pass. They go cross ice looking to transfer the play. But nicely defended by Lyndon Lodge. Plays it along the wings immediately. Here's Georgia. Very ambitious. Two on one. On the offensive line. It's now on here. Cross ice to the path of Kelly. A little bit of a shove to go on with. Webster. He can go cross ice to Kelly. Didn't get the shot off in time. Went for the second chance to the left hand crossbar. If I was Pelliccioni, I would have clutched that in to stop the play, but it saved the Sharks bacon. Ruck goes cross ice. Now towards maybe, but he didn't get the shot in. Ricochet there off a defender for the Orange. Three and a half minutes to go. Langel almost. Ballancourt shoots over the crossbar. Langle and maybe, maybe, almost. Well cut off in the end by Williams. But it was a two-on-one rebound for the Sharks. Playing to the end boards now. And on his own was Langle. Can he go cross ice? He does. Almost went to number 28 there in Doyle. He was very unlucky not to get time. In the open is Ruck with the backhand. Almost by Webster. It's a scramble for it inside the slot. But Riley Langle on the rebound. What can he do? It's a two-on-one. He needs to keep it in front. Great blocking there by Lodge. Brilliantly done, but the referee's caught him up for it. That is a slashing. Well, that is an interesting call to say the least. I thought it was a decent block. But unfortunately, the ref saw it differently, and their decision is final. So Lyndon Lodge will spend 
Two minutes in the penalty box, and this could be a crucial opportunity for the Sharks to possibly snatch the win. Another shutter guard power play here. And a timeout has been called. For all the scoreline, two and a half minutes to go. On the CD Dodge scoreboard, this has been, my goodness, another scintillating contest. Who will take the three points? Will it be the Orange or will it be the Sharks? We see the Sharks huddle at the moment. Coach Mark Valancourt and, of course, manager Gillan McLean was talking to his players there. Just assessing what they need to do to try and snatch the points. Sharks and the Flyers Orange, both in their huddles. They're about to break up now. You can feel the tension and suspense around the Perth Ice Arena tonight. We have had two cracking games to open up the CD Dodd Perth Premier League for 2021. Both sides will go back to the Sharks attacking zone. The Orange, well, they need to cover that slot heavily because that's where they've scored most of the goals tonight. With Webster and Ruck. Webster pushes back and wins the faceoff. Kelly from behind the goal line. The disadvantage by a man on the ice serving his penalty. It's instantly turned over. Valancourt to Santana. He goes back to Valancourt. Valancourt looking to go cross ice, but he's forced back. Good defence by Tanner. Valancourt keeps it in front. Goes out Santana. Will he go cross ice to uh, Ruck? Oh, down low. Big heavy, big heavy body check there. But the Sharks keep it in their possession. Mercerella. Santana keeps it in front. Supported by Langle. Now goes back to Santana. Valancourt, two on one in favour of the Orange. Campbell wins out. Pushes forward. Langle, he's got some space in the slot, but the puck just deserted him at the last moment. Open ice pass towards the defensive zone. That's what the Flyers Orange would want to do as well. Try and go for those open ice passes towards their offensive zone and kill off this penalty. If they can, then they have a chance. Go cross ice along the end boards. Well played in the end there by the number nine in Ruck. I know that's Kelly, I should say. Langle. Langle, nice direct pass. McLean, who's back on. We're inside the last minute of this scintillating game here at the Perth Ice Arena. It is on for young and old. McLean, good cross ice pass. Langle, no slashing. Ruck shoots just over the crossbar. McLean pushes forward to Langle. We're inside the last minute. Langle goes indirect. Inside the slot. They would have gone for Langle for the cross-ice pass. But just a little bit off. McLean out to Valancourt. Valancourt, here's Langle penetrating the slot. But another open-ice pass, Campbell. And that's what they need. In the meantime, they've killed off the penalty. The power play is finished. Five on five for the remaining 30 seconds. Will there be two ties to open up this night of Premier League action? We're inside the last 15 seconds. Another open ice pass over the head of Lodge. Pushed forward. And it's clutched in. This has given the Orange a chance in the last seven seconds. Well, if one tie is not enough, how about two if it remains that way in the last seven seconds of this match? Lodge, he may be a key in this final face-off. He's in good position to try and get that cross-ice pass and look for that late tip-in. They've got heavy slot coverage. The Sharks have got two. Webster, it's pushed back. Remaining seconds to go. McCann pulls out of the crease. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. He can't play loose. It's passed back to center ice, and we got a second tie. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Opening night of CD Dodd Perth Premier League action has ended with two ties. And both sides will go into round two, a point each, along with the Flies Blue and the Vikings. Ha, ha, ha. This has certainly left the CD Dodd Perth Premier League with a lot to talk about ahead of round two next week in Coburn.
But the final score in this match, the Sharks 4, the Flyers Orange 4, the opening night has ended with two ties. Can you believe it? But that is certainly a great show for ice hockey here in Western Australia. A great advertisement for the game. A great advertisement for the competition as well. So our two games here tonight have ended in thrilling ties. The Blues tying with the Vikings, 3-all. And the Sharks tying with the Orange, 4-all. Can you believe that? No better start to the season than what we have seen here tonight. The goal scorers for the sides, Ruck with two, including an own goal. And it was Langle and Zoo with the others. And all goals scored, Webster, Lodge, Ruck. And also that own goal, as we mentioned earlier. Highlights, thanks to CD Dot. An electrifying contest here. You couldn't ask for any better. Langle with that fine goal there near the end. And a couple of big hits to go on with it. Well, what a climax to this opening night of CD Dot Perth Premier League action. Next week, we are in Coburn. And the Blackhawks will feature in action for the first time this season. So make sure you tune in. Next Friday night from 7.45, it is going to be a, a great round. If round one is anything to go by, well, the rest of the season has nothing but excitement in store for you, ladies and gentlemen. That does it from the Perth Ice Arena on behalf of Bailey, Matt, Ryan, and all the Front Row Screens team. This is Paul Persick wishing you a very good evening, and we look forward to your company next Friday night for round two of the CD Don Perth Premier League.